I have known G.J. Kenny, I think, since he was almost in diapers. That means either I'm old or he is getting old with me. And the head coach at Texas State, the Bobcats, G.J. Kenny, joins me on 365 Sports with David Smoke and Garrett Ross. G.J., how you been, young man? Man, I'm great. I'm great. I'm glad uh, I'm getting to hop on here with you. Well, I appreciate it. I know you've been busy. How difficult was it to juggle – what you were trying to finish out the year and win a championship at Incarnate Word, while also with part of your vision, knowing you're about to take over another program. Yeah, it was it was definitely difficult, um, but you know th- those those kids that, and guys over at UIW, that coaching staff, um, those those players over there, they deserved my my full attention, and so I just tried to be where my my feet were, and and you know went to practice, watched the film. Uh, you know, stayed there as long as I could and then went over there, and, you know, in the evening time to Texas State and just started recruiting and putting the staff together. Can you try to, if, if I was to ask you, okay, I want to see your call list, not the names, but just how many calls you made maybe Monday, Tuesday, up until whatever you can do before National Signing Day, would it have been just an enormous amount of numbers? Oh, yeah. I mean, we're, we're on the phone, high school coaches and and you know, kids and parents and and all kinds of good stuff. I think I, I think I'm down to 263 text messages. I still haven't read, so I'm still going through them. So, sorry if I haven't texted you back or, or called you back. Well, you know, I've been a little busy. By the way, I don't know if you ever responded to mine. No, you, you, you yeah. did. No, you did. No, you, I did respond because yeah. <laughs> you said something about the Canton, the yeah. Canton 6158. That's yeah. It. yeah, when you had that shootout with Sacramento State, which was just like nuts. Uh, I, I said that reminded me of that incredible game when you were at Canton uh, and beat uh, eventually when you were at Gilmer, but 61-58 at Rose Stadium, one of the yep, most amazing yep. games ever. And you said you kind of thought that too, that that game reminded you of when you were playing. It did. After the uh, We did an ESPN in, uh, interview after the game, and that's exactly what I said. It reminded me of a Texas high school football you know, playoff game, and that was really the game I was referring to. I just knew they wouldn't know who can't kill all right, so what do you need to do? What is the job at Texas State for you as you now take over this opportunity? Recruit, recruit, recruit. We got to recruit like crazy. Um, you know, we got to recruit our current players. We got to recruit um, high school kids. We got to recruit in the portal. Um, that's the name of the game. Uh, we got to get some some more pieces uh, in this thing for us. Uh, you know, I just got done hiring my, my coaching staff, got everyone hired, so really excited about that. And then we just got to recruit. There was a philosophy, and of course, in this day and age, G.J., with the transfer portal, and you've been affected by that at Incarnate Word, as everyone has been, but that it was just a load up on the transfer portal. What is your philosophy juggling high school talent, incoming infusion of youth and talent, and the transfer portal? Yeah, we we got to recruit high school kids uh, in, in Texas. That's got to be the foundation, I believe. Especially, I mean, hey, we're Texas State, uh, so, so we're going to recruit – Texas high school kids, that's going to be the foundation. But you also got to, you know, you got to recruit the kids that maybe went somewhere else and want to come back to Texas or, uh, you you know, we're in, in the Big 12 and, and want to come down to Texas State. So that's kind of um, kind of the model uh, right now. And obviously we're going to take best available. If there's a, a kid from Mississippi that's a stud and it can help us and it fits kind of our culture and what we want to do, then, then we're going to do it. But the foundation is going to be Texas high school football players. So you had this quarterback in Lindsey Scott Jr. Robert Griffin III made a comment about how he is actually, and I think UTSA's Frank Harris could be in this conversation. They overshadowed because they're not a power five school or whatever. Both of them were elite at what they did. In your opinion, you played at the college level and you played well. You played in the NFL. You were an analyst in the NFL. You've coached now for long enough. How good is Lindsey Scott Jr.? Man, Lindsey is, is a stud. And I, I think, obviously, the talent is there, the arm strength. Um, obviously, he's a dual-threat guy. That's kind of what, you know, you look at around the NFL and, and some of the top guys are, are you know, um, game is very similar to Lindsey. So, uh, I think he's got a real shot to play in the NFL, and, and that's what I tell him all the time. It just takes one team to really like him. And, uh, you know, he's been invited to a couple of these um, college all-star games, so I'm excited to – to go watch him and kind of compete and, and uh, kind of what his next chapter looks like. GJ, you made the climb. You've, uh, of course, I just mentioned where you played and even places you coach, but you've done this pretty quickly, uh, getting to the point where you're now taking your second job as a head coach in college football. What's it been like to kind of methodically and yet in almost rapid speed where you are today? 
Yeah, I think it's just all about relationships. Um, you know, everywhere I've been, I think <clears throat> playing in the NFL and, and preparing like a professional every day, and that's what I tell people every day, it's a, it's a job interview. And that's the way I cheat every day. You know, I go into work, every day's a job interview. I'm trying to impress everyone I'm around at all times, trying to do my best ability. I'm, I'm recruiting at a high level. I'm trying to coach these kids at a high level. And, uh, I think when you when you treat people the right way and you work hard, good things happen to you. And that's just kind of you know I think the reason why I'm uh, you know here where I am today. How much can you rub off what your success has been? How much can that rub off as a head coach? Well, I, I think you know the, the confidence. You know uh, you can't fake these these young men out. You can't fake these coaches out. So you know I'm very confident in what I do. Very confident in the plan. And and uh, so yeah, I think you definitely can affect these guys with how you carry yourself. All right, so football has changed. Uh, Dave Aranda, who, oh, by the way, that's who you, I think, open with, right, Baylor next year? I believe so. Yeah, he's talked about it even at times it's kind of a give and take, and you got to, where we are with the uh, transfer portal and, and recruiting has changed, and then NIL and all of that, and I don't know how much that gets into Texas State yet, but how hard is it to juggle, not just what you were doing between two programs how hard is it to now juggle so many different things have changed in college football uh i mean you know i i think that's why you know i think it's a young man's game i think that's where it's going you got to be on all the social medias you got to grind you got to you know, be on the phone constantly um and that's what we're going to do and we're going to find a way we're going to maximize what we have and and uh figure it out that you know i'm a problem solver and the coach, rest of the coaches are problem solvers we're going to get what we need to, to win and, and uh, get the right recruits in here. GJ, uh, as far as recruiting goes, uh, you, and you look at the San Antonio area with the success you had at Incarnate Word, what Trinity was able to do, uh, what Jeff Trailer has rolling with UTSA, is San Antonio kind of an untapped area for potential when it comes to recruiting? And how much of a focus will you put on that area? Yeah, San Antonio will be a, be a focus right down the street. Really good coaches, really good players. And, but I think that, you know, there's great talent everywhere. You know, obviously my focus is, is going to be Dallas, East Texas. And then we got other coaches that, uh, that have stronger connections in different parts of the state, but we're going to scour the state. Uh, we're going to, you know, be recruiting the Texas high school coaches. We got to get them on campus, kind of show them what we're all about. Um, so. I'm just excited to, to get out there and start recruiting, to be honest with you. You know, we, we've got to do it a little bit, but the product we have at Texas State and, and what we're able to offer these young men is, is, is tremendous, in my opinion. So I'm just excited to, to go and, and represent Texas State. You're not quite central Texas, but you're pretty close to it. If you took a map of Texas, you know, you could say it's either Austin, Waco, or whatever, but it's right yeah. there, pretty close to that. How much is it that you can go basically two and a half to three hours, a little bit longer to get to North Texas, Northeast Texas, but really about two and a half to three hours to find football players everywhere you look? Yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, when, when Chad Morris took the job at SMU, talking about a tank of gas is all we need for recruiting, and that's, that's really the case. Uh, maybe two tanks of gas for, for us. That's, that's about it. So, um, you know, we're going to recruit that area. We're going to recruit the whole state. And, uh, you know, we don't need to go very far. I know that. Do you, uh, you were a part of the list for the Eddie Robinson Coach of the Year Award for what you did this season. How much did that mean to you to be even a part of that conversation? I think I beat Dion by like a couple points, so that was that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it's just a credit to the coaching staff and the players we got, and, and uh, you know that that was awesome. And and I'm not even sure who who won, but just to be mentioned with those guys and and all that was 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 you know definitely my first year doing it was pretty cool. TJ Kenny again, the head coach at Texas State, with us on 365 Sports, and I know. You got to go make some more calls. What? So, what is the national signing day is over? What can you or can you not do right now when it comes to reaching out to players? Well, uh, we're, we're we're still recruiting. Uh, you can talk to them on the phone and all that. It's just dead. They can't come to campus, and uh, it opens back up for the portal kids on January fourth. So we'll start having some official visits then. And but we're constantly on the phone, and we'll we'll make a couple more announcements to to our recruiting class probably this afternoon. So stay tuned to that. GJ, I know one of the issues uh, surrounding Texas State in the past has been facilities, per se. You know, the weight room. I know there was ish situations where Texas State was having to go to San Marcos High and lift in their weight room. Are there any plans in place right now, or do you see in the foreseeable future where you can get facility upgrades uh, to kind of help with recruiting to go on that, uh, along with that aspect? Yeah, sure. It looks pretty good right now to me, but I think we're uh, we're about to break ground in April on a brand-new 
uh, kind of end zone complex and weight room and uh, kind of re- redoing that whole building. So shit, it looks pretty good to me right now anyways, but I, I don't need a lot. I just go in there and lift weights and, and do all that. So, um, but yeah, I, I'm excited about where this program's headed and the facilities and, and the, uh, you know, the leadership here with, uh, you know, Dr. Dampfus is, is unbelievable. One of the reasons why I wanted to, to come to Texas state and, and, uh, he's going to pour into this program and we're going to have the best of the best. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. Is that one of the challenges is that maybe somebody doesn't realize what Texas state has when it comes to facilities and letting them know that this is what you actually have. Yeah, I think when, when we get kids on campus, like this weekend, um, I mean, we had all kinds of kids on campus. I mean, I think they were pretty blown away, kind of what we had to offer. And we had a lot of success with, with commitments on a short notice. And I think the more, you know, we can get these kids on campus, the more we can get their coaches on campus, the, you know, obviously the, the better we're going to do. So, um, like I said, it, this place is a gold mine. Um, it really is. And, and so I'm just, I'm just really excited to, to be a part of it and leading this deal. And, and, uh, cause I love recruiting. I do. I, I really do. You know, some people, you know, talk about all oh, the NFL and college, you know, we want to go to the NFL, but I, I love, I, I want to stay in college forever because I love, impacting young men's life and i love the recruiting aspect of it so gj i sent jeff trailer who's been on this show who's done an incredible job everywhere he's been i sent him a note just a minute ago i just said hey by the way we've got gj on his response is not a surprise the best love that kid how much of the influence and how often did you guys being in the same city even have a chance to cross paths or talk <laughs> i think there's interviews to be honest with you i went to his house one time i believe in the summer but I talked to you. I talked to him last night uh, or two nights ago for about 30 minutes. And, um, you know, I talk to him when I can and, and, uh, you know, I'm always bouncing ideas off of him. And, and when I was building my staff, talking to him about that, and, and I'm, I'm constantly talking to him, uh, you know, a great sounding board for me, a great mentor and, and uh, just an unbelievable, you know, person and, and coach and, and, uh, so, you know, I'm sure we're going to have some recruiting battles ahead of us and, oh, and yeah. that whole deal, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll you know, and we'll uh, we'll play clean. Has he ever forgiven you for sixty one fifty eight? No, he, he he brings it up pretty much every time we're together. So I guess not. <laughs> All right, your father was a coach. When you were playing for him in Canton, were was that in your blood yet, or did you realize that's part of what you would do? I knew you had goals to play in college yeah. and play at a high level, and obviously the NFL, and you did that too. Was that in your blood even then? Yeah, I think so. I, I always knew I wanted to coach. Obviously, I wanted to play in the NFL and, and play longer than I did. You know, I wanted to, you know, be one of the greats, but, you know, it didn't work out. And, and uh, but I know I wanted to get into coaching and, and shoot. My dad's one of the best, if not best coaches I've ever been around. You know, the way he gets his team to play hard and, and uh, he's a, he's a winner. He's always going to win wherever he goes. So, um, you know, it's someone I, I model my game after. So it's, uh, he's definitely one of the greats. And I definitely knew I wanted to get into this deal once I got done playing. Uh, I've done a lot of high school games in my lifetime, but 61-58 at Rose Stadium was one of the most classic games. Watching a team in Canton that had never really experienced that kind of success, have that kind of success against a dog, a gorilla, an 800-pound gorilla in Gilmer. I'll always remember that I was at that stadium and doing that game. GJ, I watched you thrown from the time you were at uh, Canton, Gilmer, and obviously at Tulsa as well. Very proud of you. Uh, incredibly proud of you and thank you for your time. I know it's been a whirlwind. Get back on the phone, whatever you can do, go do something good. And I'll, I'll probably hope to talk to you next September before you play Baylor and get you on the show again. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Always got time for you and always appreciate you and your support. And I always remember, you know, going smoky.com and seeing if I (laughs) won player of the year or whatever, you know, all that kind of good stuff. So it's man, it's, uh, you know, I really appreciate you and everything you've done. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. GJ Kenny, head football coach at Texas state, the Bobcats. He's been